what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to use selection sets or search set so we are going to learn how to save it so we are going to save our selection sets and save our search set okay so let us learn first how to save our selection set okay because in Navis works you can create and use sets of like objects so this makes it easier to review and analyze our model. All right. So let's say, for example, I want to select all the duct. Okay, so I'm going to click one of the duct here. And then I'm going to click this drop down arrow here and then look for same type. I want to select all the duct. So I'm going to select same type. There you go. So after I selected all of this duct here, okay, I want this to be group or save. Okay, so I want to save this selection. So how to do that? So after you select and uh, after you select all the elements that you would like, so you can now select your save selection. So just click that one and then there you go. So there's now your selection set. So you can change that name. So let's say that is docs and then enter. So that the next time you click outside and then you deselect the object. So all you have to do is to go to your sets here and then click the selection save here that you have just click that one and it's now selected okay so it's easier for you to reselect again the elements or group of elements that you have so that is for our selection set now the other one is search set okay so search sets are dynamic group of items okay so you can do this by using the find item tools remember this is the topic that we have last time so we learn how to use the find item so we can use the find items and then save the search sets okay so let's click find items and then I'm gonna select your category and then I'm going to select your item so let's say I want an item the property is let's say name that let's say contains uh, air terminals okay so I want air terminals so this is the criteria or the search criteria for my air terminal so I want to select the items whose name contains air terminal okay so after you specify the, the criteria of your find item so the next thing that you need to do is to select here find all Okay, so you click find all and you will notice if you have your properties open, it will tell you that you have four items here selected. But actually you have a lot of air terminals here that is already highlighted. So after you select this one by using the find items, after you select uh, find all, Okay, so it's now highlighted here. So the next thing that you need to do now is to save it. So let's just go back again to that window. And then there's your save search. So instead of selecting save selection, so this time save search. So you click that one. And then the icon here is different. Right? So this is for the selection here. And then you have the search here. So I can change the name. So let's say I will call this air terminals enter okay and then I can now close this one here there you go okay so I now have my docs here and then I now have here my air terminal so if ever you close your sets uh, window so all you have to do is to uh, go to your home tab Look for the sets drop down and then look for manage sets so it will open the window the sets window and then you will now be able to see here all the selection elements all the search sets that you have in your project okay so what's the difference okay so selection sets are static groups of items and these are useful for saving a group of objects that you want to regularly perform some action on such as let's say hiding them changing transparency and so on they simply store a group of items for later retrieval 
there is no intelligence behind this set. Okay? If the model changes at all, the same items are selected. Well, assuming they are still available in the model when recalling the selection set. So that's your selection set. While the search set, so these are dynamic group of items and work in a similar way to selection sets except that they save search criteria. Remember, we have a criteria that we have specified here on our find items. So this is the criteria that we have specified, right? So save the search criteria instead of the results of a selection by just simply selection. No, we have selected these items because we specify a certain criteria and save it using the find items so that you can rerun the search at a later date as and when the model changes. So let's say, for example, the model changes, it adds some air terminal or it removes some air terminal, your search set will going to be updated if you select your search set again. Okay, so search sets are much more powerful and can save you time especially if your CAD files are continuing to be updated and revised. And it is also possible to export search sets and share them with other users. Okay, so basically that's the difference between your selection set and then your search set. So selection sets are a static group of items. Okay, so there's no intelligence behind this one. So it will not update. Okay while the search sets so they are dynamic group of items that save search criteria instead of the results of a selection so basically i always prefer search set over the selection set okay so that every time the model updates my search set will gonna be updated as well okay so hopefully you learn something from this video guys if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, right? So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.